Hey, good afternoon everybody. It's Sunday afternoon and I just want to take you through a short video of the C8. Uh, I'm getting its carbon fiber ground effects. We took it up to took it back up to Whitmore um, really on Wednesday, I guess. So one week after I picked it up and somehow Matt got, you know, several carbon fiber ground effects, carbon flash and carbon fiber. When we had originally tried to put these on in the original order, but they became a constraining item, which meant they were going to delay our order. So we pulled it off the order, knowing that someday, you know, we'd be able to do it as a part. And Matt called me, gosh, I mean, probably Monday afternoon and said, hey, I can get these. Do you want one? I said, sure. He called me on Tuesday and said they were in. So I made an appointment and drove up and saw him on Wednesday. So this is a, just a quick little video for you to see it. Um, Sometimes we don't show you how these things get done, so I actually they were allowed me to go in and, and kind of take pictures and video the process of putting it on the lift, pulling the wheels off, you know, fitting it. It was a little bit of a pucker factor for me. It was the first one they'd ever done, so I was watching them learn. And then when they got the drill out and actually drilled holes in the car, that was a that was an interesting feeling to get through. But they did a great job. I mean, hats off to Whitmore, uh, Matt Beaver, and those guys. I don't know how they do what they do, but it um, turned out great. And um, I'll just walk you through some of this and um, get it up and see so you guys can see this. Talk to you later, everybody. All right, I was just shocked at how big these boxes are. So it's a three-piece mod, and each one comes in these giant boxes. So this sitting there, um, it takes up quite a bit of floor space. And he had about, I don't know, seven or ten sets sitting there. It was uh, pretty surprising. And then I just wanted to show you some uh, shots of them getting the C8 up on the lift and then pulling the wheels off. Uh, the black tridents look really good. It's just a nice way to see them. And then just some unique views. I just, it, this car looks so cool when it's at face level. And I just was able to get a few shots that I wouldn't able, uh, or angles I wouldn't be able to with it on the ground. I probably sound like an idiot, but once they got it up high enough, I could walk under it. It was so cool to see that the C8 has a completely flat bottom like a supercar does. I don't know what I expected, but I was just, uh, I don't know, I was impressed enough that I wanted to show you exactly what the entire bottom looked like. And it, it looks like a high-end Mercedes or, or Ferrari, and I just thought that That's was pretty cool. These guys a, trying to figure this out. This Corvette. is the first time Whitmore had done a ground effect mod, and so they just took their time finding the templates and getting them placed in the right place and then you see them trying to figure out uh, the part itself and just how does it fit where are the drill holes um, they were just uh, very careful with it so here's something pretty crazy they did a nice job of pulling really the aligner back and found the control module literally you know one inch behind it and it was really in danger of getting drilled um, you know, I was just so impressed that they took the time to pull that apart and look at it before uh, drilling directly into it. They did a nice job of working around it. And I'll be honest with you, a few things make me pucker like a guy walking up to my new CA with a drill, with a giant drill bit in it. But he did a great job. <laughs> and the final product, uh, the giant hole. And I hate talking over all these, but I get um, copyright infringements, so they pull my videos out every time I leave background noise on in these things. So I just want to show you them drilling up from the bottom now, and then um, an after shot here of the, you know, of, of one of the ground effects installed. And I'm gonna talk over this one too, to show you the gap, how small it is. It looks like a rock catcher to to us as we saw it. Hopefully it doesn't collect too much ground or road grit. We'll see. But um, it's beautiful. It's true carbon fiber. They did a beautiful job fitting it and getting it drilled. Just um, It looks great. So I don't really know what else to say. Just talking over sound so they don't get a copyright infringement. Anyway, nice little wings. About an inch out from the car. So I'm just trying to show you before shot. And an after shot. And now we're going to move on and talk about the chin splitter. This is the original chin splitter as it came from the factory. And then we're going to do a little bit of over talking from the shop. Got the radio playing the whole time. So this is the shiny uh, full shot. Here's the actual new piece. 
uh, and what it looks like before we got it on the car. the new one and what it looks like it's so much sticks out at least to uh, a couple inches further and again I'm going to talk over this little video here because the shop had the radio way high now but it looks great um, tiny little winglets on the end and it just um, just sticks out great um, looks great and as an added bonus uh, sorry for the fuzziness but we hit the 500 mile break-in mileage on the way home from Whitmore, so we are now going to get our break-in oil and filter changed and hopefully get to go do something with this car soon. Hi guys, I thought I'd just show you a walk around. So here in Maryland, we get what's called the pollinating or the greening. And it's starting a little bit early this year. And it'll continue on through April, but this is just after really a day or two. So I thought I'd show you this real quick. I'm gonna wash it. Don't get, don't get, don't get too greedy. Don't get too unhappy on me. I'm gonna wash it all off, and then we'll do a walk around with a new carbon fiber on it. All right, got to clean. Just do a quick walk around on these carbon fiber uh, ground effects we put in. So we had the uh, new chin splitter put on, and then these side vents. Let's read this. It's a three-piece mod. God, it's hard to see in this light. It's hard to see because everything's black. But it's, you can see the carbon fiber when I get the right light with the right sun's angle. That's it. Anyway, it's clean. Looks a lot better.